welcome. Thanks for joining us. We're Rick and Kim, and we're the Clark Expedition. In this video, we're starting the camping season of 2024 by heading up to Northeast Ohio to watch the solar eclipse. April 6th. It's the first night out camping for us this camping season. It's early in the year and we're heading up to Pimatuming State Park but it's not open yet for another day. So we took the first day and we stopped at Libations Winery and yes we have been here before. Libations Winery participates in Harvest Host which Kim and I are members of. And basically what that allows us to do is have free nights of camping at participating facilities all across the country. Staying at a Harvest Host location does not require that you participate in whatever the organization or the business offers, but it kind of makes sense that you do. And this was a Saturday night. How can you beat this? Great music, great food. We stayed a little longer in than we planned to, you really couldn't beat that. The next morning, we checked into Pima Tuming at about 11 a.m. Pima Tuming Lake lies between North East Ohio and Northwest Pennsylvania, about 15 miles south of Lake Erie. We stayed at the Jamestown campground in the Pennsylvania State Park side. This was the season opening day for the campground and we were one of the early arrivals. This was April 7th, one day before the solar eclipse, and I think most of the people that had checked into the campground were there for that event. Although you could spend a week at Pimatumi State Park with all the things that you can do around the area. We've stayed at Pimatumi State Park before. We were here last summer when we visited Erie, Pennsylvania. You can actually see that video if you look at our playlist. They have noticed the blue sky while we were there that first day. We were sure hoping for the sunny skies to be there for tomorrow for the solar eclipse. But for the evening, we just sat back and enjoyed and relaxed, enjoyed the scenery, had a nice barbecue, and prayed for good weather. morning of the solar eclipse which happens around three o'clock today so we've got gray skies hope it gets better all right an irish pub up on lake erie let me explain we drove to Lake Erie to a small town called Geneva on the Lake. We expected big crowds when we got there. We got there about 11.30 in the morning. Well, when we pulled into town, it was rather quiet. It was easy for us to find a place to park. We were able to walk around the streets of Geneva for just a little bit, but we had time to kill. 
and we walked over to the winery which later on we had reservations for where we were going to watch the eclipse but that's at 3 p.m. so what better thing to do than to head over to the Irish pub and kill some time undisclosed period of fun that we had at Murphy's Pub and Ale House, you could see that the crowds were showing and it was also getting fairly close to the time of the solar eclipse. So now it was time for us to start wrapping things up and walk on over to the Firehouse Winery where we were going to participate in a solar eclipse party and then head out on their lawn so that we could look up and watch nature's magnificent event. about 30 minutes to go before the total eclipse, the sun was already being partially covered by the moon, but you couldn't tell by how bright it still was. But as the minutes slipped by, that blue sky began to change. Well, we had the gear and we picked out a great spot to watch the total eclipse and I think we were surprised at how light it was until just before the total eclipse happened and it actually happened very quickly. During the eclipse, the moon totally covered the sun, but the camera was picking up an awful lot of light. But you can even see some stars and some planets off to the right. With the right camera settings, this is what the total eclipse looked like. Total Eclipse was about three and a half minutes and we had an incredible bucket list experience. 
And so it was time to go back to the firehouse winery and celebrate, finish our champagne, our cheese tray, and certainly enjoy our Total Eclipse Cheesecake. All good things end with dessert. After the total solar eclipse, the next morning we packed up the truck and the trailer and we headed south below Columbus, Ohio, down to Hawking Hills State Park. And while our solar eclipse adventure is in our rearview mirror, our trip continued. We visit caves, waterfalls, museums, breweries, and wineries. And we hope you come along with us for the journey. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit that like button down below. It makes a big difference for us. And if you never want to miss another adventure, make sure you subscribe. That way you'll be notified when the next video is available.